A two-week-old infant is brought in for evaluation of poor feeding and lethargy. Newborn screen shows elevated TSH and decreased T4. Makes us think of hypothyroidism. Physical exam reveals a diffusely enlarged non-tender thyroid. The mother was treated during pregnancy with the medication. Which of the following is the most likely enzyme inhibited by the drug? Okay, so a baby has got high TSH and low T4, and they have a goiter, so they have enlarged thyroid. That's congenital hypothyroidism. And the goiter that tells us that the thyroid is overstimulated by TSH, but it's failing to make enough hormone. And so the question is why? Well, mom, she was treated during pregnancy for Graves. That is a hyperthyroidism that's caused by your TSH receptors. And so they had to calm that thyroid down. And what did they do to calm her down? She was given PTU, propothiouracil. And that crosses the placenta and it inhibits thyroid peroxidase in the fetus. Okay, no big deal. Thyroid peroxidase is inhibited. Well, why does that matter? It does three things. One, oxidizes iodide into iodine. Two, organifies iodine. So it attaches it to the tyrosine on thyroglobin, thyroglobulin. And lastly, it couples iodotyrosines, and that makes T3 and T4. And so if TPO is blocked by PTU, none of that will happen, and you'll have low T4, which is what we're seeing. So what is the baby's body doing? Well, the pituitary senses the low T4, and it stimulates more TSH. But TPO is still blocked, so the thyroid can't make the hormone, and so the thyroid enlarges due to the constant stimulation. The question is, will this go away? And so yes, our correct answer is indeed thyroid peroxidase. For the reasons I just described, PTU inhibits that, leading to decreased thyroid hormone synthesis in the fetus, prompting the pituitary to secrete more TSH. And yes, it will go away, to answer your question, or rather the question that I asked myself. PTU will clear from the neonate system after birth, and then the inhibition of TPO is going to stop. So T4 production recovers in most cases. However, if the mom had active Graves' disease, TSH receptor-stimulating antibodies could also cross the placenta as well. And that can cause trans, what is it called? Transient non-neonatal, no, transient neonatal hyperthyroidism. That's what it is. Transient neonatal hyperthyroidism. Okay, so what do we do? Well, we confirm the diagnosis. So we repeat the TSH and the T4 test. We can also do like a neck ultrasound. That'll tell us about the presence of the thyroid gland, ectopic tissue, and all that stuff. You find the cause. Is it like maternal history? And then you treat it with levothyroxine, so T4, as early as possible. Ideally before two weeks of age. And the reason why is because thyroid hormone is super, super important for brain development and also growth, and it prevents intellectual disability. So you definitely have to monitor and follow up on the TSH and the T4 every two to four weeks initially, and then every one to three months. If you found this helpful, consider liking and subscribing. We'll see you in the next video.